Yo, what's going on everyone? It's D. Lloyd. So, a slow news day yesterday and today, but we are going to talk about Jimmy Butler as we did get some more information. Now, I know some people are probably tired of talking about Jimmy Butler, but as of right now, really the only news story going on, some people are extremely interested in to see what's going to happen, especially if you're a Miami Heat fan and you're a Timberwolves fan, you really want to know what's going to happen with Jimmy Butler. And on top of that, this whole story is starting to become a drama. He requested the trade. We found out now he requested the trade back in August. He still has not been traded. So you don't know what is going on inside of that organization, me included. I'm still a huge believer that Tom Thibodeau does not want to trade away Jimmy Butler. But there is a reporter by the name of Ethan Skolnick. I hope I did not butcher his name. And this is what he said on Monday. He said, quote, I heard that the last offer the Miami Heat made for Jimmy Butler was on Tuesday, on Thursday morning, excuse me. Coincidentally, it was a little coincidental to me that the two reports came out of Houston right after the Heat made their final offer. That to me strikes me as Minnesota was leaking stuff out that somebody was interested, somebody was interested because a couple of those reports on Friday night were basically saying a deal was going to get done by midnight. We're now sitting here talking and there's still been no deal, end quote. And what are you saying makes a ton of sense? We do know the Miami Heat made the final offer on Thursday, quote unquote. What they said is their final offer on Thursday. Right after that, things started ramping up about the Houston Rockets. Now, right away, you start to look at that Houston Rockets roster doing the exact same thing I did, saying, what do they possibly want from Houston, and what will Houston be willing to give up? Because when you look at the core roster from the Houston Rockets, there are players that you know the Houston Rockets are not trading away. They're not moving Chris Paul. You're not moving James Harden. You're not moving Carmelo Anthony. You're not moving Clint Compella. Maybe you look at Eric Gordon saying maybe he could be moved. But but you look at what the Timberwolves have been asking for. They asked for Ben Simmons. They asked for Chris Middleton and a, little, uh, and a little bit more, excuse me. You know they have an extremely high asking price. What they want from the Miami Heat, they want young guys who have some nice potential. They want some um, draft assets. They want a whole lot. They have unrealistic expectations from what they could get from a trade. So when you look at Houston, a team that's already going to be very, very cautious as to what they do with this roster because they feel that they have a roster that can compete currently. You don't want to mess a lot of stuff up. Houston knows this now, and they're going to be very, very careful with what they do with that roster. So you look at the situation, you start to think to yourself, Houston doesn't have really anything to offer unless Eric Gordon was going to be the guy moving for Jimmy Butler, and that is doubtful at this point. So what Ethan Skolnick could possibly make sense, maybe all of the rumors that leaked from Minnesota's camp was a ploy to get the Miami Heat to offer more. And it could make sense with Miami Heat saying this is our final offer. Now they're hearing that the Houston Rockets, a team that's already super powered has an opportunity to get another all-star on that team if you're the Miami Heat maybe you do increase your offer if they do believe that story a lot of these things do happen me kind of being semi-new to the media I know personally I've been told inside information that was purposely wrong to try to manipulate a a certain situation to get people to believe a certain thing and it's definitely tough to figure out who you can and who you cannot believe, especially when rumors start coming out. You don't know exactly who was putting these things out there. Um, it's definitely a tough thing. And with social media, a lot of these rumors can spread like wildfire. Uh, and I think that was the case with the Houston Rockets situation. I know personally, I didn't hear anything of it, but the timing could be a coincidence. But I think Ethan pointed out perfectly, I think this was a ploy to get the Miami Heat to simply get, give up more in the trade offer. I think there's all these teams that are serious right now are the Miami Heat. I think the Philadelphia 76ers are completely out. The Milwaukee Bucks, they're not going to give up Chris Middleton because you have to give up more than just Chris Middleton to make the salaries match. 
That's why I don't think that is going to happen. So for the Minnesota Timberwolves, you have to realistically bring down your expectations as to what you could get from a trade or you're going to have to keep them. Um, And Thibodeau, I think this is exactly what he wants. He wants to either keep Jimmy Butler or simply he wants the owner, Glenn Taylor, to step in, take matters into his own hands, possibly fire Thibodeau, and then trade away Jimmy Butler. Um, I do think it's at that point. I've been saying it now for about a week. I don't think Tibbs wants to trade him. I think he is willing to be fired before he trades him, unless, of course, he does get one of these unrealistic trade offers, which I highly doubt, especially at this point. Jimmy Butler is even getting frustrated with this entire situation. They called the Clippers. They asked for Tobias Harris. The Clippers, they're not moving Tobias Harris. So really no teams are making any leeway at all at this point in this entire situation. Anything can happen, but I highly doubt that a trade realistically is going to happen really at this point. I think the owner will step in and Jimmy Butler will be moved, but he'll be moved for pennies on the dollar. He's not going to get paid or not going to be moved for anywhere close to what they're asking for right now. But a longer video for my channel. I know I did talk about this on my podcast, but I wanted to put this out on my YouTube channel as well for you guys to let me know how you guys feel about this. Do you believe that this story has some merit to it? Do you think that the whole Houston Rockets trade rumors came about by Minnesota because they wanted the Miami Heat to offer more than what they currently offer? And as of right now, where do you think Jimmy Butler is going to land, if anywhere at all? Do you think he goes back to Minnesota? Do you think he does get traded? Let me know how you guys feel about this entire um, situation in the comments section below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.